Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Elba the Realist, and this is Surrealistic Studios, where the real gets surreal. And it gets more surreal in this next story. I don't know what the hell is going on with people today, but people are tripping. Now we got this guy Duterte, uh, Rodrigo Duterte, the, the leader of the Philippines. He's ordering his people to shoot female rebels in the vagina. I bullshit you not. I got a story that I'm going to read from RT. By the way, they're funded by the Russians. Yeah, so he's ordering his people to shoot female rebels in the vagina. We got a president grabbing them by the vagina, and we got a president shooting them in the vagina. This shit is serious. They are not joking. L let me just read. <clears throat> A Filipino women's group has slammed President Rodrigo Duterte after, a after the controversial statesman ordered a group of soldiers to shoot female communist fighters in the vagina. Addressing a group of former rebels last week at Heroes Hall, the Presidential Museum and Library in Quezon City, Duterte said that the soldiers should take disturbing action to counter the threat of female opposition. Tell the soldiers there's a new order coming from Mayor. We won't kill you. We will just shoot you. We would just shoot your vagina. It has a dash right there. We would just shoot your vagina so that if there are no vaginas, it would be useless. What the fuck? These guys are crazy. It would be useless, he said. Uh, his comments drew widespread condemnation from human rights and feminist groups. On Sunday, Gabriela Women's Party, which represents Filipino women in the country's House of Representatives, lambasted the president for his latest anti-women remark. Writing on Facebook, party representative Emmy de Jesus said that Duterte's remarks encourage violence against women and contributes to their impunity. The post adds, Duterte further confirms himself... I'm sorry, further confirms himself as the most dangerous macho fascist in the government right now. He has further presented himself as the epitome of misogyny and fascism terribly rolled in one. Jesus. Uh, De Jesus also took aim at presidential spokesperson Harry Roque last, week's, uh, last week, who said last week that women need to learn to laugh off the president's comments. You know, sometimes these feminists are really a bit OA, overacting. I mean, that's funny. Come on, just laugh. Wow. However, De Jesus didn't see the funny side and called on Filipino women to show their opposition to the country's president at the One Billion Rising event. Ooh, Rising, I like that title. Uh, in support of women's solidarity later this month, as well as International Women's Day on March 8th. They should expect more women to speak up and reject this style of macho fascist leadership. We cannot just take this these vile remarks sitting down, she said. On Monday, Human Rights Watch echoed... Um, on Monday, Human Rights Watch echoed Gabriella Women's Party, Party's claims, saying that it was only the latest in a series of misogynistic or misogynist, derogatory, and demeaning statements he has made about women, and that the president was guilty of encouraging state forces to commit sexual violence during armed conflict, which is a violation of international... Human humanitarian law. That's crazy as hell. That's crazy as hell. And our president is buddy buddy with this guy. Grab him by the vagina, shoot him in the vagina. This shit is just unbefucking leaveable. Unbefucking leaveable. I don't even know what to say. I, what 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 more do you say about that? Can anybody tell me what do you what do you say? How do you defend this? Uh, there's multiple reports of this. It's not like I'm just making this up. I'll include this article in the description so you guys can check it out. You know, I mean, God damn. <laughs> Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Uh, like this video if you like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember to love, peace, and light.